Welcome back to Sunless Sea. At the moment, I am currently at Shepherd's Isles. And a bunch of very exciting things are just about to happen, so let's just get to it. First thing to do is head to Hunter's Keep and see exactly what I need to lay another Serpent's Trap. To help out my officer to sleep. So let's go ahead and do that. I see something in the water up there. What is that? It's moving kind of fast. I'm assuming it's a jellyfish. Oh no, it's under the water. Oh, it's a crab. Hey, crabby. And come towards me to make it easier to get you. Come on. And you're dead. Do 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 do. That is actually a valid strategy. Wait for the enemy to charge you so that they're closer to you and you don't have to go as far to collect their... their body. A bit grim, but it is effective. Hmm? Why am I... Oh, bats. Um, they might actually hit me before I shoot them, just because I have to turn around entirely, so I'm just going to avoid them. Alright, so, yeah, okay, that's exactly what I thought. I'm missing, uh, the only thing I'm missing is a Foxfire candle, so let's go ahead and head back to London. Oh, right, it also takes five supplies, so I should maybe buy some more supplies as well. I probably don't have the hold space for supplies, though. What do I have? I got a bit of room. 34 out of 40. Okay, so I'm actually going to do this quest before doing anything else, because any other quest, completing any other quest, might give me uh, a bunch of supplies or something, which I probably won't have room for. So I want to dump off the clay men and some of the Sintelac to the Merchant Adventurer before doing anything else, because I don't want a repeat of what happened before at uh, the Isle of Cats, where I had to dump like 20 supplies overboard. That was painful. Alright. Yeah, so there's a thing with my sweetheart and the child. I'm just going to ignore that for now. Collect the messages. Alright, ignore all that stuff. Um, oh, shit. Okay, looks like I have to do this. This is for Maybe's daughter, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. A visit to the bazaar. She's down the gangplank as soon as she's docked. I need to talk to Penstock, she says. The land agent. The one at the bazaar. She hesitates. She bites her lip. Will you come with me? Wow, let her go alone to an uncertain fate. You might never see her again. Jesus Christ. No, of course I'm going to go with you. Penstock's land agency. A modest office in an immodest location. Hard against the eastern flank of the bazaar. That spired fortress of commerce that towers over London. You've met Penstock before. He gives you a warm smile, then turns his attention his attention to the daughter. The Sundered Sea. There is another sea beneath the bazaar, Penstock declares. A paler sea. Yes, I would imagine you might make the bargain your mother made. Yes, I helped her go down there, but she took a terrible chance even then. Although the bazaar is healthier than she has been, it might be safer. He smiles at you. A little safer. He turns back to the daughter. Are you certain? The daughter follows Penstock back into the shop, to a redly lit grotto hollowed from the bazaar's carapace. A heavily chained cage, cage lift awaits you there. It must descend into the most secret, secret spaces of the bazaar. Penstock's wicked, she says. He has an understanding with the bazaar. He let my mother pass through long ago to make her bargain. Now I will follow. Is that really such a terribly good idea? Uh. 
It doesn't sound like a good idea. But adventure sounds fun. Alright, so if I let her go down, what does it say? There is a possibility that she may never return. But the work you've done to assist Penstock in the bazaar means it's only a very small possibility. Okay. It's only a very small possibility. I'll take it. I want to match my mother, she says, reasonably. I want to learn the great signs. The courier, the bazaar, is the only one who will teach me. I have to go. Did I pass? I, okay, I think it worked. Yeah, okay, so she didn't die. An ascent. The cage rises, rattling, into view. Your officer is shivering, caked with lumps of something like ivory-colored snow, but grinning brilliantly. The Sundered Sea, she cries. The bazaar. Oh, he's so much more than any bazaar. My mother. I have back what she took from me. She taps you playfully on the shoulder as you haul back the lift door. Thank you. Here's a little present I picked up on the shore. Did she get what she wanted? Oh, yes, and so much more. I have one more tattoo now, but it's one that no one ever will see. I don't know what just happened, but uh, congratulations, I guess. She achieved an understanding with the bazaar. I no longer have any of this maybe's daughter. Wait. So I did lose her? Uh. Maybe? Oh, no, she just changed. She was truly revived. That is so cool. So she's no she's literally no longer Maybe's daughter. She's Maybe's rival. There's a panthering glint in her eye now. Veil 7, Iron 6, Engine Power 150. I don't remember what her stats were before, but I feel like that's upgraded. How does it compare to him? Veil's one less. Iron plus six. Engine power one fifty. I'm pretty sure those are higher stats, but I can't quite remember. Either way, that is very cool. Let's, um, let's speak with her, actually. Oh, I can just proposition her. If I had veils that were massively higher than they actually are. Alright, I think we're done with her quest line. She has become born anew. Excellent. Okay, what was I going to do? Um, buy a Foxfire Candle and dump off some of my stuff. But not the Clay Men, because I need them. However, I can dump off some of the Syntalax. So let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, couldn't get his Romantic Literature, but here's your 7 Syntalax. 1,000 Echo, thank you. What do you want next? Oh, thank God. Alright, so we're back to getting very, very simple stuff. 1,000 Echoes for 7 Zoop. That is so ridiculously easy, it's not even funny. And, uh, once again, I can't remember where I actually got the Muter Salt from. I swear I got it from the same place as the Zoop. Like, I'm 99% sure that... that Mount Palmerston has... Muter Salt. But it's not on my list. I don't know. Alright, so that just freed up a bunch of room. 25 out of 40. Let's buy the candle. Um, I'm pretty low on fuel, so let's get a bunch of fuel as well by turning in some port reports. Of which I have very, very many. Let's make sure I don't fill up my hold too much. How are you looking? Let's get up to 11 fuel, I suppose. Alright, 
Alright, that seems good. And let's go. So heading back to Hunter's Keep. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Supplies? It's gonna take up five supplies to be there. It's fine, I'm coming right back to London afterwards anyway, to dump off the clay men. The remaining ones. Yeah, Hunter's Keep is just... just right up here. No problem. Let's wake the demons from their slumber. Oh, we can actually get one supply here. Okay, let's excavate the cellar once again. I'm sure it's the same thing as before, right? Serpent trap, now I can sleep, finally sleep. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Same thing. Alright. So I think I need to talk to him, right? Yep, here we go. Once again, it's gonna risk my Zaylers' lives, but... It's okay, they're expendable. I mean, I love every single one of you. Did I lose some? Oh, I lost one. Alright, is this the same thing as before? Mm, roar from the clay man. Yep, same as before. Yeah, this is the same thing that happened before. So I'm still wondering if this is going to advance to something new. Is, is something... I can just keep doing it? Is it something I can just infinitely do? There's gotta be something I can do with this quest line. But it looks like it just did the same thing as before. Hmm. Alright. I mean, I do actually gain money from doing it, because I get the mirror catch box full of very angry dream snakes, which is worth 250 at Con Shadow, I believe. So... It is worth it. Just wish it would turn into something. Well, maybe if I keep doing it, it will. Alright, well, now we're safe to dump off the clay men. Mm, boink! Uh, dump off the clay men. Here you go, 100 echo, thank you very much. I do need some more crew, I do need to repair my hull as well. Let's put my ship in dry dock and let's use my favor with the Admiralty to repair it for 25. Yeah, I've got 22 favor, so using 3 to repair it is no big deal. Go back up to 200 to get some more people aboard. Any officers want to join? Nope, but there's a Zailer. But I need three Zailers, so actually, let's go back. Let's do the higher on more crew. Two crew? Alright, I still need one more. Can I do this to engage one more? Yes, I can. Jump aboard. Thank you. Alright. So, hole is 200 out of 200. 15 out of 15 Zailers. Looking good. Um. Hmm. What to do now? Turn to more port reports? I suppose. Oh yes, I've got the strategic information. Although, somebody told me that if you have two strategic informations, you can actually combine them to make something interesting. So I'm actually going to hold on to this one, so that when I get another one, I can apparently do something with it. I don't know what I can do with it. But apparently there's some sort of a weird system where you can actually combine curiosities. I believe. 
I don't think you can drag them. I guess it's like a right-click sort of thing. Oh, in fact, look. Strategic information has a border around it, and I think that means you can maybe do something with it. Yeah, I can apparently use it? Right-click to use this item. What does it do? Oh, so it's like you're engaging in a dialogue with it. At least, kind of, you know, the typical dialogue system in the game. And... Okay, so high mirrors, one memory of distant shores, and two strategic, strategic informations... Equals... Something. Equals me making sense of a memory of distant shores, whatever that does. We'll give you a single piece of vital intelligence, which you can trade to the Admiral, the Diplomat, and perhaps elsewhere. Okay, so I can turn strategic information into vital intelligence. Interesting. So it looks like as long as you have two strategic, strategic informations, you can pretty much do it using three different parts, either a memory of a distant shore, a Z-story, or a move in the great game. Interesting. Alright, so yeah, I'm going to hold on to that. Anyway, port reports. Let's not give him the strategic information. Alright, that's done. Do I have anything to give you? Want to keep the strange catch? Keep that, keep that. Wait, I have an ambiguous elith? I thought I used it up. Oh, that's right, I never... I was able to use it at Port Cecil, but I never did because I didn't have enough room for seven more Centilac, so I kept it. That's right. Ah, right, I can offer him or her the intriguing snippets that I got from the Haunted Doctor. And I can't combine the intriguing snippets, can I? No. <laughs> combine two intriguing snippets to make an extra intriguing snippet. Yeah, guess I'll use those here. Why not? 50 Echo, 1 Fragment. Favors increasing. I'll give him the other one, I suppose. Well, you know what? Actually, let's keep hold of one just in case some like random quest event pops up that requires it. Just in case. You never know. Seems prudent. Also, I've got a shit ton of money. Like, goddamn. I should probably make a will or something soon. Let's see what's going on with my kid. Who's apparently spent too much time in inside of chimneys. You, your sweetheart, and your child. What will your child call you? Uh, apparently nothing at all. I have to improve my lodgings first? You can't raise a child in a room above a pub. Well, people do, but your sweetheart expects better. Aw, why not? Hmm. Wow, I can turn away and let my sweetheart raise the brat if they can. Alright, we'll have to improve my lodgings first. I think it's a thousand, right? That's a lot of money. Hmm. That is an awful, awfully large amount of money. But I guess I gotta take care of my kid, so... Alright. Ooh, that hurt. You have your crew cart your things from the blind helmsman to your new address. If anyone respectable calls, they'll pass as servants. Resting is now more expensive, but more effective. Hmm. Once your lodgings are large enough to support a study, you can create items such as Ironclad Will, a Whispering Trophy Cabinet, or the Zong of the Z. Cool. 100 Echo to rest, ooh. But it reduces your terror, heals two wounds, and it gives you two restful nights. Nice. I <laughs> can, sell, can sell my townhouse. Yeah, I'm tired of it. I rested one night in it. The bed's kind of shitty. Screw it. Well, let's visit my study. Create a shrine. Interesting. 
Oh, it'll increase my hearts by seven. Holy crap. And the shrine is an auxiliary item worth a further seven. Damn. Seven secrets and a captivating treasure. It's pretty expensive, but that sounds really good. Seven lamentable relics. <laughs> One live specimen. Which actually isn't bad. That's only 500 echo. And I can get it right here in London at the zoo. Increase your mirrors by seven. And yep, it's an auxiliary item worth a further seven mirrors. Wow. And this one I can do. Increase your pages by seven. Holy crap, you can do some really good stuff. Even write a will. Great, well I have absolutely none of the things needed to write the Song of the Z. The only thing I do actually satisfy is not already having the Song of the Z, which is required to be able to write it in the first place. Wait, it's only 200 Echo for a will? Shit, I might want to do it then. The Court of Chancery, as a roaring lion, walketh about... Uh, walketh about seeking whom it may devour. Ensure it doesn't get its lion tentacles on your property when you're gone. Should you die, this will ensure that your heir retains your lodgings and any heirlooms you've accumulated. Define heirlooms. Does that mean all of my money? And all of my items? But you know, this is totally worth it just for the lodgings alone. Because the lodging cost a thousand. I'm going to do it. The lawyer's... The lawyer peers at you like a vulture composed of crocodiles. <laughs> Come now, she creaks. There's a few years in you yet. But your caution does you credit. Sign here. No, no, ink is fine. This isn't the brass embassy. Wait, I thought that cost 200 echo, but it says I only lost 100. That definitely said 200 echo. I mean, I won't complain, but that's kind of weird. Okay. Well, I've got great lodgings now and a... a will. And I've still got 2,300 left over. Feeling pretty good about this. Let's so visit my kid. Alright, now that I actually have lodgings, I can choose what you should call me. <laughs> I can have my kid call me Captain. Nah, I'm your father. Yes, you are the child's father. Here it is. Small, warm, apprehensive, affectionate creature. Treat it gently. You may visit your child at your lodgings, which you gain a, uh, when you gain a free evening. You always get free evenings when you return to London, but here's one now. Thank you. Bonus evening. Can spend some time with my family. Your sweetheart comes and goes. They have their own complicated business, but they always return to your shared home and your child. Time with my family. It's a delight. But will it always be a delight? The sailor knows two worlds. If you give suitable presents to your child, they will gain sea fever. If sea fever reaches 25, they will decide to run away to sea, becoming your scion. This will establish a permanent dynasty of future sea captains. What? A permanent dynasty of future sea captains. What does that mean? I don't really know what that means, but it sounds good. Alright, so if I, if I keep telling him, like, memories of distant shores and Z stories he'll want to run away to see. I feel like a manipulative asshole, but... Screw it. Hmm. Well, I've got 30 freaking memories of distant shores, so let's go with that. <laughs> now he's got 5 Z fever. That was quick. Your child's eyes grow round as pennies. They store up the memories as dream fuel. Much later, you find the scene you described, scrawled on a fool's, uh, fool's cap sheet by a childish hand. 
the heck's a full scap sheep? Uh, sheet? Oh my god, I lost 14 terror. This is really good. Like, I don't want to reduce my child down to just kind of like a, a number machine, but... Talking with him is basically free and reduces my terror massively. So I'm, I'm just saying, kid, that you're really mechanically useful. I like you. But really, you should stop playing in chimneys. It's not healthy for your lungs. Okay. Um... I'm actually not quite sure what to do now. L let me think about it and I'll be right back. Okay, interesting. I just noticed something. The, uh, what's his name? Tireless Mechanic? Yeah, the Tireless Mechanic, the guy who I've been helping sleep by laying the Serpent Trap. Apparently, I've actually already had a quest for what to do with him, and his whole secret and the... pig's dreams or whatever, whatever people he stole a secret from. Apparently, I've actually had something to do with that, I guess since the first time I helped him sleep. I just never realized it, because these two objectives are here. One is the mechanic's secret in Frostfound. So find Frostfound in the north and retrieve the mechanic's secret from the penultimate chamber. I had to hide the secret somewhere the Finger Kings couldn't go. I hoped they'd leave me alone then. So I put it in Frostfound. Not the very heart of Frostfound. I'm not insane, but um, quite close to the heart. And then I also need to rescue or ransom him from wisdom. Um... The Unsettled Sage, so apparently he needs somebody from Wisdom, which is that, like, prison place in the Sea of Lilies. Where is it? Is it right there? Yeah, there it is. So, I need to do that stuff. So, apparently I actually can progress this quest, which is quite nice. And there's a bunch of stuff I want to do, but one problem I'm having is that with the seven Scintillac in my hold, I don't really have enough room to do much. Because my hold is already quite small, and having something taking up seven slots is just too much. I need to get rid of them. The problem is, I don't know how to get rid of them. I mean, I could just sell them to the shops, but there's much better uses for them than that. Way better. And I know there was another place that needed seven Scintillac to do something. Some other place in London, some other place than the Merchant Venturer, but I can't remember where it was. I just can't. So, here's what I'm going to do. First thing I'm going to do is free up some hold space by selling my crate of human souls, which I can do here. Sell it for 60, not bad. Let's buy a bunch of supplies. Yeah, not bad. I guess I'll go for 10, that's fine. Uh, fuel should be fine because I'm going to be heading up to Mount Palmerston quite soon. Okay, yeah, so let's do this. I want to head up to Mount Palmerston for a couple reasons. One reason is that the Merchant Venture wants me to do it and he'll pay me a thousand for a 7 Zoop. Which is an extremely good deal. So it'll simply make me some money, which is nice. However, one added benefit of that is that after I give him the zoop, he'll give me another trade another trade quest. Which might be one of those trade quests where he wants seven Scintillac. I'm really hoping it is, because I really want to get rid of the Scintillac to free up my hold. So get a bunch of money, and have a chance of perhaps getting rid of my Scintillac afterwards, when he gives me a new quest, which is quite nice. However, while I'm up there, I'm also going to be right next to Frostfound, so I might as well go try to retrieve the secret. I'm just trying to remember if I actually needed any items to retrieve the secret. I remember you needed low terror to go inside. Very low terror. Which I have. Terror is not a problem. I'm at... I'm actually at zero right now. So that is not a problem. But do I need, like, candles or anything to go in? I can't remember. I really can't. Well, I'm just going to assume I'm good to go. And, yeah, let's just head up there. Got the supplies, plenty of fuel, and I can resupply at Mount Palmerston, where fuel is cheaper than it is than it is here at London. And, yeah, that's it, let's go. 
I'm gonna keep my lights on because I want my terror to be very low before going inside Frostfound. Because I'm thinking some bad stuff is gonna happen in there. I feel like I didn't read the morning papers back at London. I don't think I did. Oh well. Uh, I guess I won't know what the stock prices on Microsoft are doing. Let's go through the darkness. Right through here. We will pierce the darkness like a spear of light. Or some other poetic nonsense. How come my terror's not increasing? I'm in complete darkness. Oh, here we go. Yeah, we should have no problem with terror whatsoever. It is at completely zero. Actually, it's about to be one. No, I have one terror. Everything's ruined. Alright, do I need anything? No, I don't. Yep, does terror no more than 20? Plenty of mirrors, which I have. Alright, let's get a port report first. Hmm. Let's ask them about the castle. Maybe they can have some tips for me. Gained a Tale of Terror. If you can enter, you should not. I think I've read this before. Hmm. You might even find something of value there, but you'd be despoiling sacred ground, my friend. It will take your stories from you. It will take your essence. Yourself. And if you survive that... You'll likely anger the gods of the Z. Yes, they're real. As real as the corridors of Frostbound are. Stay away, my friend. Stay away. Nah, I'm going inside. You should not enter Frostbound without a good reason. Well, I think I've got a pretty good reason. Let's go. Face the wall. You probably shouldn't do that. One of the squatters advises. Ignore her. Face the wall. Examine your cloudy reflection. Close your eyes. Step forward. Shiver. Frostbound radiates both cold and a subtler chill of the heart. Did you move at all? Or is it your reflection that moved? You were inside Frostbound. Oh Jesus, my terror's already 20. <sighs> this looks dangerous. <laughs> Light. A hundred rich and blinding colors filter through the ice. It's like drinking a kaleidoscope. It's like being kidnapped by rainbows. The colors shift with every step you take, revealing shining corridors. In each and every corridor, your reflection waits. Let's enter the sapphire chamber. This corridor shimmers with... A blue as rich as the sky of the surface. A howling wind. It fills your ears, but the air is still. Whoa. 
Every facet of the ice crystal wall is the hard and depthless blue of a desert sky. You take one step further in, and that blue plucks at your senses. Vertigo spins you. A voice intones. This was the sky. Recall other places where there is no sky. 21% chance? Hell no. Step into the sky. Sacrifice a point of veils. Okay, well, it costs one secret to get veils, so essentially that's pay one secret, so that's fine. You'll be terribly exposed, but perhaps you'll learn something. The Horror of Emptiness. Yes, this blue is a brittle, savage barrier. Press against it and it will shatter, spilling you into the high wilderness. The stars are hungry, and there is a horror upon you. Your head spins. Increase your terror further to penetrate further into Frostbound. The right items means you may not have to sacrifice skill points. Oh, Jesus. I'm going to come away from this place, like, scared shitless. This is going to be interesting. Alright, well, that just increased my terror, so I guess I'm fine. Let's enter the Amethyst Gallery. Over here, a corridor is the deep violet of the more colorful Unterzee corals. Dappled shadows drift like fish. Predatory shapes. You are the center of Hunter's attention. Things... things like and unlike sharks. Long, sleek, half visible behind the walls. You have the sudden sense that they are vaster than sharks. Vaster than Frostfound itself. What the hell is that thing? Perspective confounds you. This place stretches away every direction through a dusty purple haze, as if you float in a cloud. The air is chill and crackling. Vast and shadowy shapes hang lifeless in the distant cloud, fluid staining their hides. Whale things and beast things, bigger than... Dirigibles? <laughs> Have you pronounced that? Bigger than cities. You are a speck in the cloud. Are you still inside Frostbound? Once again, there is a voice, lifeless as leaden type. There were casualties. I guess I don't have the right items for this. Sacrifice a point of iron, or take a 27% chance. Hmm. And what is my iron? Wow, that's a 27% chance with an iron of 58, which is not bad. I'm hoping one of these challenges involves my mirrors, so I actually have a decent chance at succeeding. Sacrifice a point of iron. I mean, I want to do this, but what happens if I fail? Because it's likely I'm going to fail. There's about a 3 in 4 chance that I will fail. Let's try it. Because I'm guessing if I fail, the only thing that happens is my terror increases. Or maybe I end up sacrificing a point of iron anyway. Let's try it. Gain 10 terror. Oh, shit, I succeeded. An old familiar fear. Great sad dead eyes like stagnant crater lakes. Mouths which could drink rivers. Your entire ship would be a glint on the speck and a pockmark on the least limb of these things. But you are a sea captain. Your enemy, your companion, is the Untersea, against which even the eldest of these beasts is nothing. Good thing I'm close to London, because I'm going to have to reduce my terror. All right, let's enter the cavity. That corridor glows the rich red of sunlight on fresh blood. Bright as pain. As you tread the corridor's crimson facets, you almost expect your feet to come away sticky. Ew. It's like a massive blood droplet. You are bathed in crimson light, thick as cream. It warms your skin and fills your mouth with a taste of iron. 
This is only a memory of a memory, a voice intones. The crime is forgotten. Its shadow remains. Spin a point of hearts. Compare your own memories of horror. 19%? Ugh. Let's try it. Probably gonna fail. Yep, I failed. Um. Oh, it looks like failing just causes you to not gain as much terror. Distraction. There was a terror you found out on the Z. You remember it keenly, but what does it mean? This chamber, this place. Frostfound shivers around you. Memory is fragile. Okay, so I can just keep trying it. The only thing I'm really losing is just the Tale of Terror. Yeah, that's fine. Because the end goal is just to have enough, enough terror to continue on. So if you fail, you just don't gain as much terror. Failed again. Succeeded. Gained 15 terror. All living things are joined in the chain. Men and apes. Bees and roses. Messengers and stars. When the red science breaks it, even time is scarred. It happened, and it is a terror on the sky. But it's only another story, like your story. It is past. Oh shit, do I need more terror? Terror no more than 49, you have 48. Okay, so I need more. Failed. Wait, so my terror is... 47? Is that enough? No. Come on. Oh, there we go. 15 terror, that should be more than enough. Oh, Jesus Christ, my terror is gonna... Holy fuck. Oh man, I went from zero to this. I'm going to need a lot of R&R &R when I get back to London. So enter the Emerald Vista. The green of forests, of poison, of leaves haloed by arc lights. Chilly air, the scent of pine. Rich, deep, fresh green of infinite depths and tints. If secrets had a color, it would be this. It baffles and delights the eye. A chilly wind brushes you. Something sought, the voice intones. Something lost. Okay, so here's mirrors, which is excellent. Wow, even with that, there's only a 24% chance of success. Uh, what does it take? Oh, seven fragments? That's, that's fine, that's nothing. You gain 50 fragments just for discovering an island. Failed. 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 Succeeded! Yay! Everybody's gone so crazy that they're going to kill themselves or something. Or jump off the ship into the ocean. Rocks in the flood. There are changes which will wash away all that you were and all that you are. Nothing is familiar. Everything is new as morning. But you have something to cling to. I think we're reaching the end, at least I really hope so. I hope I don't need a hundred terror for the final confrontation or whatever. Cross the diamond bridge. Here the light is brightest. Lightning bright, migraine bright, bright as humiliation. Even when you close your eyes, the light does not diminish. I think this might be the final part. A narrow space of blinding light. All colors and none. Between the Towers of Bright and the Towers of Teneb. Once on the bridge, you will be exposed. Like an insect in the desert. Like a fresh carcass on the operating table. Like a jewel in the sun. Hmm. 11% chance of success? And only three shots at it? That does not seem worth it. 
Sacrifice a point of pages. Pages are worth a lot. But this seems terrible. 11% chance of success, 3 chances. This seems too risky. I think I'm going to sacrifice a point. Yeah. Oh, Jesus, my terror is now 95. <laughs> Great. You stumble through a mounting haze of dread. The light tears at you. Thoughts wither like charring paper. Across, into the merely brilliant light of inner Frostfound. Oh, Jesus, there's more. Enter the iridescence. Wow, you need terror between 95 and 99. So if your terror's 100, what happens if your terror gets to 100? Like, do you just, like, fucking die? It can't be good. I was gonna go to Mount Palmerston, but I'm going straight back to London after this. And I'm keeping my lights on the whole way. Alright, let's go. Uh, softer, pearlier, mirror fog glow coils from this corridor. If this is Frostfound's pearl, what dark inclusion provoked it? Oh my god, what the hell is this? The light here is very different. The ice crystal walls are invisible behind a soft and luminous fog. Even the air is warmer. Your shadow paces you, stalking the boundaries of the fog. Know yourself, a voice intones. Okay, we can finally actually get the secret. What else can I do? What the hell? Wrestle yourself. Know yourself. Never mind that. Take the direct approach. Assault your shadow reflection. <laughs> Sacrifice one point of each skill and increase your wounds. Why would I want wounds? No thanks. I'm good. I, I don't feel like assaulting my shadow. Okay, so I can know myself if I had a Searing Enigma, which unfortunately I don't. God, I wish I had that now, because I've come so far. I mean, to get back here would be very expensive. At least in terms of terror. But, alright. We came here with a mission, let's do it. This, the mechanic says, very quietly, is as far as we go. Let's get what we came for, and get out. I don't want to see what's in the fog. Not again. Has he been here all along? Nothing is certain in Frostfound. The mechanic fumbles in the drifting mist on the floor. His shadow does the same. From within the fog, as it scrapes away an imitation, there is a dull grating noise, as of claws on rocks. He comes up with a stone piglet, small enough to lie comfortably on the palm of his hand. Its eyes are bright pearls. I'm sorry, the mechanic confesses. My imagination is rather literal. He stows the pig away out of sight. Now please, can we go? I can feel my teeth chattering out there. Alright, we've got the mechanic's secret, and thank god it reduced my terror by 35. Alright. And yes, we can go, right now. Let's get the freaking hell out of here. Okay, are we out? Alright, we're out. <laughs> Thank God. Well, after that experience, let's, uh... Let's have some tea with the squatters. Tell them about my time inside. I've already done this before, so I'm not going to read it. Lost 10 terror. Thank God. Gain supplies, gain of fuel. Excellent. Whew. That was scary. That was really scary. In the end, it wasn't too bad. I, I think I sacrificed one pages and one other stat point. I think it was Veils. Yeah, not too bad. My terror's already down to 50. Excellent. Okay. Thank God. Alright, so that's half of what I need to do for the tireless mechanic at the moment. The other half is... to go to uh, the place where I need to rescue the guy from jail. Or is it Wisdom? Yeah, I need to go to Wisdom. Which means I'm either going to break him out, or I'm going to ransom him. 
breaking them out is probably going to have a very low chance of success because it probably involves the Veils skill, which is my lowest skill. So I'm probably going to have to ransom him, which is probably going to be pretty expensive. So, before I do that, I think I want plenty of money. Which means I'm definitely going to continue on to Mount Palmerston now that my terror is lowered. And go do that trade quest. And see if they have Muter Salt there, which I'm pretty sure they do, even though it's not on my list. I could swear they had Muter Salt. I'm pretty sure they did. So yeah, Mount Palmerston next, then back to London. And all sorts of fun stuff. But before that, I think I should end this episode before it becomes over an hour long. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And I'll be back soon.